I hate shooting photos on my phone. Now I could go on a huge rant on why, but I'll save that for another video. So I set out to get a point and shoot. I know, a point and shoot in the 21st century, it's weird. However, they have some really cool pro level point and shoots, such as the Sony RX100, Rios GR, and what I settled on, the Lumex LX10. At the time, I was already shooting Lumex and the price was right, but so were the specs. It had a 20 megapixel one end sensor, lots of manual controls, customizable buttons, a tilting screen, and a 24 to 72 full frame equivalent lens. So it's better than your average point and shoot to say the least. I got this little guy back in 2020 with intentions of using it on the go. A camera to always have with me, and that's how I used it. I toss it in my bag and take it everywhere with me. Take it to class, commuting, to work, hanging out with friends, all of it. The images that came out of the LX10 are good. Not great, but better than my phone, and that's what I needed. I felt like I was no longer missing shots I wanted because I always had a camera on me. Well, almost no longer missing them. The LX10 does have its quirks after all. The autofocus isn't too great, it's similar to the G85 we just reviewed, so not very reliable. This leads to missing many shots if there's a lot of movement involved. Low light also isn't great, even with the lens being at 1.4, the small sensor makes high ISO performance not so great. However, you can angle the built-in flash to bounce it off the ceiling in tighter spaces, which helps. I also find it takes some time to boot up. The camera has to turn on, the lens has to pop out, and then it's good to go, which takes some time. The body on the camera feels dense, which isn't a bad thing. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, and has a high quality feel in the hand. Despite the high quality feeling, the build quality leaves a lot to be desired. The camera really falls apart here. The lens mount and the control ring have a bit of play to them, which doesn't give me a lot of confidence in the camera. I've also had the lens get stuck when trying to pop out or retract. All bad things when you want a camera to go everywhere with you. I guess this brings me to the single biggest issue with the camera, the lens. While the lens is decent, the ceiling around it isn't. I didn't expect weather sealing, but I also shouldn't have the issues with dust that I do have. As I've used the camera more and more, dust has built up inside the lens, it's gotten to the point where I can't even use the camera anymore because the focus always seems soft, no matter what I do. I wanted a camera that could be durable, that I could take everywhere with me, and this doesn't seem like that. As much as I like this camera, I don't think I can recommend it. All the benefits are outweighed by the huge negatives I've had. I wish I could say it was just my LX10 and it was because I got a used model, but everything I've read shows these are super common issues with this camera. You can buy a new one and baby it, but it's more expensive than it's worth new in my opinion, and if you're babying it, you can't use it the way you want to, taking it everywhere with you every day. So that's the LX10. I think it can produce great images, but it's got a lot of issues. As much as I wanted to love this little camera and wish it was the perfect everyday carry, it's not. So I guess the search continues. And I think I found the perfect camera, the Fuji X100V. That review will be out soon, so keep your eye open for it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. Thanks for watching.